Hi, my name is Joni, holistic health teacher, coach, and consultant. Water is life. Now this is a topic, water and hydration, that I could talk about for hours. Why? Because water really is life. Without water, we don't have much. We can't grow food, we can't hydrate, we as a species would wither up. Our bodies are made up of about 75% water. I've seen experts claim anywhere from 60 to 80%, but you get the drift. We don't need to know exact percentages to know what to do to take care of ourselves. That being said, an extremely high percentage of Americans are dehydrated. In fact, the three biggest health issues in first world countries are as follows. Number one, chronic dehydration. Number two, inflammation. Number three, high acidity in the body. And this is where cancer cells grow extremely well. Dehydration alone can lead to a host of other health issues as well. And for those looking to lose weight, many times when we feel hungry, we're really just dehydrated. So have a glass of water. Not iced tea, not decaf coffee, not some weird energy drink, and certainly not Coke or Kool-Aid, but water, just straight water. If drinking straight water sounds like an awfully hard request, think of all the much, much harder things you've had to do in this life. This is how we reframe things. You can go back to my second video linked below to get an idea of what reframing is all about. What you can add to water, if it helps, is a squeeze of fresh lemon, fresh lime, or orange if you like it a little bit sweeter. You can also add cold or hot herbal tea to your daily intake, but you must be sure there's no caffeine and no sugar and no other artificial flavorings. So reading labels is a must. Second, set yourself up for success. Herein lies today's challenge. Place a glass of water on your nightstand when you go to bed. I personally use a a water bottle, preferably not plastic. That's another topic. Um, But when you wake up in the morning, drink at least eight ounces or closer to 16 would be better before any other food, coffee, or tea. Why? Because while you may be sleeping all night, your brain and your body are actually hard at work. So when when we wake up in the morning, we're already dehydrated especially if we didn't hydrate properly the day before. So if we consume caffeine first thing in the morning, we're just continuing an endless dehydration cycle. One of many things dehydration can lead to is weight gain. I'm circling back to weight gain because A, there's a massive obesity problem in the U.S., and B, this is very common, if not the most common reason people first turn to health coaches. Finally, there's a lot to know about water quality. I'll move further into this topic into the future. There's a lot of contradictory information out there. And, you know, you can also jet to my website. Um, There are some posts about water there on my blog. Um, But, you know, it's it's a really um, particular situation. I have moved a lot in my life and have had to continually research and readjust depending on my location. Um, As Aaron Brockovich says, Superman is not coming to save us, and we all have to do our due diligence. So the best starting point is to look into your local water sources to begin this journey, as your specific location, including the pipes in your own home and office, will also matter a lot. For now, today, we just want to consume more water than anything man-made. We want to to hydrate versus dehydrate. I once had a client who was quite overweight, but drinking plenty of water and eating pretty well and getting outside walking her dogs, Um, but I was having trouble pinpointing why we weren't really moving the needle provided she was providing all the information on what she was actually truly doing. Four months into working with her, she casually mentioned something she was adding to her water. I was like, wait, what? (laughs) Stop the presses. She had been adding a product to flavor her water. I can't remember the name of it. It started with the letter M. It's been several years ago, but at the time it was sold in all of the major grocery stores. And once I researched it, I was appalled. The number one ingredient was saccharin. Saccharin's like the worst sugar out there and does everything opposite for your health that water does on its own. So sugar is number one when it comes to increased inflammation, which is a huge problem for many reasons, um, among other things. So adding these flavorings to our water is essentially not recommended. Um, They're not going to help you hydrate at all. So we must read the labels, we must pay attention, and we must drink plain water. On a slightly separate topic, clean water is our birthright. My grandmother's house in New Orleans had tap water that was yellow, especially the bath water. And while some may consume poor tap water and live until 100 years old with no issues, another person absolutely will not. 
And as far as the bath water, our skin is actually our largest organ. So anything we put on our skin is absorbed into our bodies. So when our tap water is treated with fluoride and other chemicals, we're just absorbing all of it, whether we're drinking in it or bathing in it. So we'll revisit all of this at a later date. But for now, just keep it simple. Don't stress out about all of that that I just told you. Consume mostly water all day, every day. For our first nutrition challenge, go back and watch the video titled You Are What You Eat. Your second challenge is to put that glass of water or a water bottle on your nightstand and consume it first thing in the morning before any other food or drink. If this video resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share. I see you, and you've got this.